in this session i'm going to talk about something which is very important with respect to uh, learning anything related to interfacing uh, with respect to 8051 rs232 what is rs232 it's one of the most earliest of interfacing serial interfacing standards and rs is called recommended standard 232 uh, is the standard c is the version rs232 c RS-232 uh, was uh, actually created by or defined by Electronics Industrial Association and it is one of the earliest and we can understand it from 19 and the year that it has been created. It is 1969. It is pre-TTL time. TTL is transistor, transistor logic where we got all the voltage ranges clearly redefined and uh, this RS-232 standard is well before a TTL uh, definition. Hence, RS-232 will not have a sync with TTL. This is one point that we need to remember. RS-232 is seen widely even today for overhead projectors. Whatever projectors we are seeing these days, even will have RS-232. And for serial communication in industrial automation projects, we have a lot of scope for RS-232. And uh, very limited distance is what this can cover. Uh, to be very precise, it could cover somewhere close to 15 meters. So let us see about this and let us understand few more important terms about it. Before we get into it, we got to understand two things. One is DTE, another one is DCE. What is DTE? DTE is data terminal equipment. What is DCE? DCE is data communication equipment. When I have to connect data terminal equipment with data communication equipment, I need an interface cable and that is what we are going to look into. So DCE is nothing but modem. DTE is nothing but computer or the PC that you are going to use for data transfer and data receiving. Modem is going to completely facilitate the data transfer. Simple. Now, the first version of this interface RS232 had 25 pins. We call it DB25 connector. And this DB25 was uh, actually used for a long time and then they came to know that we can minimize the number of pins actually and the number of pins from DB25 has been reduced to db9 that's what is being used now so the db9 has got just nine pins and i have got it here in the screen in front of you so one two three four five six seven eight nine that's all so we have only nine pins and it has got nine signals called data carrier data receive data transmit data data terminal ready ground data set ready request to send clear to send and ring indicator these are all the uh, pins or signals i should say with respect to rs232 and this is what is used, this is what is being used even now, instead of this, this is 25, so 25 is uh, very large, so we have come into a stage where we can use just 9 pins, and this is what is called as DB9 connector, and how does it work is very simple, so I have just pasted a small picture here, so what will happen is first, uh, the order of understanding is very important, first uh, DCD, which is nothing but, we can see that this is DTE, this is DCE, and in between, I have got all these signals working fine. So all these signals are going to be placed in between these two and you can see the arrow marks also. So the DTE and DCE. DTE is computer, DCE is modem. So I am going to use modem for me to enable, facilitate the data transfer which DTE is going to make. The first signal that we need to know is DCD or CD we call it normally. It is called data carrier detect. It is like the modem will let the PC know let the DTE know that okay boss I am all ready so the connection has been established between DTE and DCE which means the modem is connected to the terminal this is being communicated through this signal so first when the modem is connected this signal will go second RXT and TXT RXT is received data the transmission signal completely happens with RXT I mean uh, receive signal happens completely with RXT the transmission happens with TXT this is nothing great that's why i have not mentioned it here and i have mentioned it in the last year txt after everything is over these two signals will come into picture so for now let us just ignore this two and three now dtr dtr is data terminal ready so what do you mean by that when the dte is turned on which is nothing but your uh, computer which is nothing but your pc it it when it is turned on it should indicate that it is ready for communication so the dte which is nothing but your pc should tell the modem that boss i am ready for communication the data terminal is ready okay now next ground we know what is ground let's not waste time in this so i am ignoring this now dsr data set ready okay the terminal is ready for communication 
so the dc should also say that yes boss i am ready for communication now see the flow first the connection has been established between dte and dc second the dte tells that i am ready for communication and the operation the dc now acknowledges saying that yes sir i am also ready to go ahead with now rts and cts rts request to send this is not requesting for the data to be sent from modem instead i am requesting permission to send data from myself to you please understand it is not requesting data to be sent from dc it is the request to be sent from the i mean it is the request for the data to be sent from dt the dt has got some data ready so i need to request you i need to request your permission to ask you if you are comfortable with me transmitting the data so the request to send is that so i am ready to send data so that is being highlighted here next cts is the signal clear to send so this dce now should say that yes boss i am all free clear to send so now the data transmission will happen txt and rxt all those things will come into picture so only these signals are sufficient for you to understand how exactly this db9 connector works now there is one more signal which is called as ri which is called ring indicator we guys must have definitely used the uh, olden day um olden day uh, modem which is uh, through telephone uh, we used to uh, connect it and we get a strange sound getting connected and then we will get into it by clicking connect and then it will take a lot of time some sound will come all those are called as ring indicator it is it is definitely uh, the older one these days modern modern days kids might not have realized that you can check it up in uh, olden day computers where we have uh, dial up modems available in the picture so we have just nine signals which is called db9 connector and this is what is going to rule the complete rs232 dte dc is very important when i am ready to connect i can connect with a dtr dsr rts cts where carrier detect should have definitely happened and then txt and rxt will come into picture very simple now there is another very important question which is frequently asked in interview what is a null modem configuration null modem configuration is very simple i i have to use the minimum number of pins i have to use the minimum number of signals to connect two devices two dtes have to be connected together without any uh, um, more number of signals which means that i i got to connect two dt devices without modem or any communication devices no dc is needed i need only dtes now how do i do that sir i connect the transmitter of connector 1 the transmitter of this is connected to receiver the receiver of this is connected to transmitter and i will short the ground you can see that 5 to 5 is ground uh, 2 to 3 is connected and then 3 to 2 is also connected so this is called as null modem this is one of the very important interview questions what is a null modem configuration null modem configuration will let you connect two dtes without having a necessity for you to go with a modem or any other communication devices now this is what is used frequently with rs232 i mean with 8051 for serial communication hence we have to see that in my next session probably i will teach you about the serial communication standards and how to establish serial communication using rs232 on microcontrollers thank you for following my channel i'll get back to you with more materials and contents shortly please give me your feedback and let me know if you have any queries thank you